Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. So he's saying, look, I was trying, I'm offering, I'm reaching out my hand to help, but you basically treated my counsel, you treated my words, you treated my commandments like it's nothing. That's what naught means. It's empty, it's nothing, it's meaningless. You treated the word of God like it's nothing. He says, you would none of my, you didn't want to hear it. You didn't want to hear when you're wrong. You didn't want to hear where the Bible's saying you're a sinner. You need to, you know, this is what you need to do to do right. You didn't want to have anything to do with it. He says, so because of this, because I've offered, because I've reached out my hand, because I'm trying to help you, because I love you, but you just say, no, don't want to hear it. Look at what he says. Now this is where his attitude changes. He says, I also will laugh at your calamity. Well, that's not very nice. Meet God. Okay, this is, this, is part, this is also part of who God is. So now we say, what's your calamity? When all this trouble comes upon you because you've lived this foolish life, because you're not listening to his commandments and you get yourself into trouble because that's what's going to happen when you don't listen to God's commandments, when you don't follow his commandments, you're going to find yourself in a world of trouble. See, God gave us the commandments not to spoil your fun on this earth, but to protect you and to watch out for you the same way that a father does for his children that gives him rules. Hey, don't go run in the street. Hey, don't go getting into booze and getting into drugs. It's going to destroy you. It's going to ruin you. We have these rules for our children. That's why God made rules for us, to protect us, to look out for us for our own benefit. And when you choose to just reject all of that, Guess what? It's not going to be good for you. It's a world of hurt. But here's the thing is that God said, well, look, I tried and tried and tried. So now when your calamity comes, I'm just going to laugh. It's just going to be amusing to me. It's going to be funny to me because I tried everything and reached out my hand and you just said, no, you know better. I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. You're saying that you're, you're going to be afraid. You know, and, and when people are out there, the foolish and they're mocking God and they don't want anything to do with it. That's when they're lifted up with pride and they think nothing can ever go wrong with me. I know better. I could do whatever I want. But you know what? They always end up being humbled. Something always happens. It's going to bring them down. But God's saying, you know what? When, when your fear comes and you're not so proud anymore, so I'm going to mock. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to mock. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me? Look at this, but I will not answer. See, some people say, well, it's never too late. God says, then shall they call on me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. There is a time... Now look, God is long-suffering and merciful for many, many, many times, for many cases, but there comes a time when enough is enough with God. There's a time he says, that's it. That's it. I've done so much and you just continue, you've made your choice. There comes a point in people's lives where they could make their, just like you made a choice to put your faith in Jesus Christ. At one point in your life, if you're a believer today, if you're saved today, you made a choice to put all of your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ to save your soul. That's a choice that you made. There are people out there that have made the choice of hearing, understanding, and then mocking and rejecting Jesus Christ. And they've made that choice. And God says, all right. You've made your choice, and then that's it.